Hello. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I saved myself 54 English pounds converting old Orc war bikers. Hello. So, as you heard in the intro, I'm going to tell you how I saved myself 54 English pounds. So, small disclaimer right now so you may already be aware if you are a subscriber to challenge challenge good god <sighs> try again <laughs> you may already be a subscriber to the channel or you may have already seen my previous video at that point i'd only had three of the orc war bikers and i already got them in part of a deal so they didn't really cost me any extra um so this is how i carried on with the idea of what i'd already had which is um it was eight um, you know, can't count. I ended up with eight war bikers um, converted from the old kits, the old ones. Um, not the old ones to be confused with the fluff, uh, but not the creators of the orc, but the actual old edition bikers. Not saying I don't like the new ones. Um, I'm just very, very cheap. Um, and if I can get away with doing anything to save a bit of money, I will do. Um, stop rambling, Nicholas. Anywho, so. Um, I myself spent seventeen ninety nine um on my five orc bikers, and the bases. Um, oh, speaking of which, I have to do a special mention. Um, I went into the games workshop hall. Um, and they don't norm no one. Did, well, blah, blah, blah. games workshop don't normally hold on to the bases. Um, you have to usually order them in. Um, which is obviously free to order them in, so no big deal. I walked in, and for whatever reason, whether it was an old um, cancelled order or, or whatever, um, he did sort me out. He was very friendly, very helpful, and he did look around, and he did find some, which really saved my day, which is good. Thank you very much. If you are watching, you're a beast. Cracking back on. Anyway, so, so I spent seventeen ninety nine. dollars um, If you buy them brand new, you can pay... Uh, for about nine, so there's one more than what I'm suggesting. Uh, you can pay about seventy-two pounds from Games Workshop. So good models, you know, nothing wrong with them. Um, yeah. So all in all, I saved about fifty-four quid, which is quite a lot of money, which I could then spend on more orcs, which is pretty much what I did. Anyway, um, what else? So for yourself, uh, I did an average price. The average price. Sorry about that, just checking my notes. So the average price, um, for f I rounded up for what I paid for them. You can, might find them cheaper, you might already have some kicking around, so it might be cheaper than this, but the average is about £24 for eight bikers, eight war bikers. Um, you can pay three to six pounds for the basis for those guys. Um, if, you, if you've already got orcs, you've got some kicking around possibly, if not, they're about 10 quid on, on eBay again. Um, and that's bot boys, and that's why I used to hack, um, hack them up and mix the parts in. So again, cracking on with the money. So you yourself, um, if I can find it, probably save yourself about between about thirty two and eighteen pounds. So what I've done um, to get that figure is, I used the pricing for again three kits of um, all core bikers from Triple Helix. Um, I couldn't care. It's twenty five percent off, and um, with delivery comes to about fifty eight pounds. So, my maths is terrible, but I did check it earlier. Um, it's going to save you about eighteen pounds, which is still a significant amount of money. Um, well, maybe just to me, who knows? <laughs> um, so yeah, you'd be able to save yourself between. I just said it. I'm pretty sure I did. Between about, <laughs> just ignore that bit. But you can save yourself a bit of money. <laughs> I have a terrible memory. So, that being said, um, I'll try and do, I'll see how they go, see how they go. So this is one of the guys, and um, what I did was, in the other video I said, I cut the arm off, off the other guy. I've left one of them on, so you can see a little bit of a difference if I plug the right part there. Um, I changed the heads over to current arc bodies. Um, as the old kits used to have them sticking out, I cut them down, cut the pole off the back. I just put the guns next to it, if I'm honest. Uh, it was pretty easy. Wham it on a base. Job's done. 
This one's a bit cheeky because he's not actually holding onto the handlebars. I literally ripped the old one off, wound an old, um, not an old, another orc knob, chopper uh, slugger. This is from the orc boys kit, so you can just literally, again, wham that little beggar on. Um, what I'll do, um, I think I'm going to try to do, is stop the video and I will record the video of these guys just so you can see how I've got on with them. Um, yeah. So, as you can see right here, um, this is the eight orc war bikers. Uh, three of them I already got as part of a payment slash trade with a guy leaving the hobby. Um, sad times slash good times because I got to have these awesome orcs. Um, anyway, so as you can see, um, they're not going to win any golden demon um, contests or anything like that. Um, however, I'm, I'm alright with them. I like them. I think they look pretty cool for what you get. Um, you might notice that I've put some normal shooters, if it'll zoom in properly. Yep, some normal shooters on there um, from the normal Orc Boys kit. If I've noticed it's the old hand on there and then the chopper leaning slightly in his head. The new head on there. Again, same side on same as this side. I'm um, just that, and he probably needs to cut my nails. I'm gonna stop going on about that right now. Ha. Anyway, um, so what else we've we got here? We have got um, the orc knob is the leader. Um, it's got the usual orange tint to it because that's the colors, the army color scheme. Again, he's got an orc shooter there. I wonder if he's got one on the side. Yes, he does. Um, you know. They look alright, they've painted okay for my standards, so that's all I care about. I'm looking forward to having them in a kill team game. Um Doo -doo. what else? So we've got this dude. Again. Basically chop them, chop them here, stick them on the side, chop the arm off, or one arm off so he's holding it, and change the head. Right, let's get another guy out, another two possibly. Now this guy again. It looks like he's got a missile on there. Um, which is always cool. And this guy's got the other shooter, or the other Becker gun, is it? I can never remember the name of him. Um, and he's got his chopper hanging out. Careful. Um, and this guy, again. But basically, they all look quite similar. Uh, but they've got a little bit of individuality in between them all. Um, what I'll try and do is I will try to get some uh, more pictures. and uh, knock them flying um, of the boys, maybe individually or as a group. Um, get them to pose for a photo before they go and um, scream wah at someone, uh, as they do, as is orc tradition. Uh, I think this video is going on pretty long now, so I'm going to pretty much cut it um, here. Uh, so what I'll say is, um, if you like the video, please like it. If you um, haven't already, subscribe and you'll see more money-saving ideas like this one. Um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Uh, so thank you very much.